Welcome to Still Moments. My name is Paula. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to get started on this Atlantic Brown Pelican. It is a full adult breeding pelican as you can see from the reference photo. I made a few changes. I'm not going to do it directly in the center of my painting. I did make it a little bit more asymmetrical off to the side here and I also changed the location of the hotel to be a little bit more over and give him a little bit more room so his head isn't just directly into the hotel like it is in the reference photo right there. So the movement of this has turned out quite nice. The viewer's eye will flow in through the rocks and the railing, up around through the bird and off to the left hand side quite nicely. So I'm looking forward to getting started on this and seeing how it turns out. First of all I'm adding a light wash of ultramarine blue in the background and then along in the ocean. This is yellow okra with just a tad bit of ultramarine blue in it. I'm using a variety of greens, different shades, a little more yellow, a little darker, and then with an occasional touch of orange just to create a little bit of a shadow in there. I'm darkening up the beach a little bit using yellow okra and ultramarine. This is mostly cobalt blue along his beak and his neck right here. Keep this as bright and light as possible with these blue tones in the pelican. Along the pelican's neck, I'm just using a variety of browns, burnt umber, raw umber, burnt sienna, just a mixture to get the look that I want. And now just a bit of black on top of that. The feathers along the back are directional, so I'm going to create some light, quick lines across his back with burnt umber and then in the underside this is yellow okra going into some deeper browns and even adding some ultramarine blue to make it more of a shadow underneath the bird and then I will use a damp paintbrush to soften the lines and create those light feathers which are mostly yellow okra on top of darker browns. The rocks in the jetty underneath here are mostly ultramarine blue with black. This is a sunset scene and they were quite dark with a few touches of oranges, green, as the sunset highlighted some of the colors in there. On the, the post right here, I'm trying to keep it as bright and warm as possible so I will go with a lighter blue along the railing into a little bit of yellow added to it so it's a bit of a green but otherwise trying to keep it as bright and as close and vivid to the viewer as possible compared to the the ultramarine blue black in the rocks behind it. His feet are lamp black with a bit of blue in the highlights where the sun is touching them. In the hotel in the background, I want to keep it as light and airy as possible so the focus stays on the pelican. It's ultramarine blue and I'm lifting it off quite a bit to keep it as soft and background as possible. And 
and then a little bit of a green roof with blue in there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one complete. Overall, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. This is the first time that I've ever painted a pelican. So here is the reference photo that I used. His neck is a little bit more orange than I would have probably chosen at the beginning, but it works quite well. And for feathers, I noticed that in terms of their structure, they are mostly just directional. So I created the directional brown strokes at the top and yellow okra down here, darkening into some just general browns. And then I took a damp brush and I lifted off those finer points of the feathers. And since brown mostly just sits on my paper, it was a fairly effective technique to use and create that, that soft but sharp kind of edges of each of those feathers in there. So I'm quite pleased with that. So I hope you've enjoyed this time-lapse video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.